Karnataka government has reduced the stamp duty of properties priced at 45 lakhs and below. This move by the state government is expected to encourage the affordable housing sector and give some push to the fence sitters to take some action. But what do the builders and property buyers have to say about this? Hello, I'm Priyanka Rachaya. Welcome to today's episode of Property Matters. The state government has slashed the stamp duty imposed on properties, costing rupees 35 lakhs to rupees 45 lakhs by 2%. This brings down the stamp duty from 5% of the property value to 3%. The reduction in stamp duty is applicable for first registration of apartments that are valued at rupees 45 lakhs and below. The state government had earlier reduced the stamp duty of properties costing rupees 21 lakhs to rupees 35 lakhs by the same percentage and in the 2021 budget it had cut the stamp duty by the same percentage for properties costing rupees 20 lakhs and below altogether the stamp duty of properties costing rupees 45 lakhs and below is now 3% The Maharashtra government had cut the stamp duty of properties across all segments from 5% to just 2%. And this had led to around 80% sales surge in Mumbai and around 54% sales growth in Pune. Joining the bandwagon, the West Bengal government too is offering a stamp duty rebate of 2%. It has also slashed the circle rates by 10%. But will the Bengaluru real estate market benefit from this? What do the industry experts say? The state government proposal to reduce stamp duty by 2% for properties up to 20 to 45 lakhs is certainly a welcome move. Any positive step by the government will be welcome. At the same time, the property in this segment of 45 lakh is hardly a few percentage in the market, particularly in Bangalore, where they can buy an affordable housing at this range. In my opinion, in our opinion, it will be hardly about 20% of the market share. Having said that, we look at a better impact of uh, revenue generation will be possible if the government reduces the stamp duty for all properties across the uh, board, irrespective of the value of the property. This will kickstart a bigger revenue inflow, bigger demand in the market. It will not only enhance the state government's collection of stamp duty and registration it will also kickstart the industry which is the highest employment after agriculture so the pandemic effect it has to be faster relieved for the uh, whole country or for the state we need to look at a certain out-of-box thinking by giving certain extra push the stakeholders have equal role in this and we request the government to look at seriously and ensure that Across the board, the property registration rates are reduced and certainly it will bring in. We are not asking for a permanent concession of this sort. Make it for about a year. This will really bring in better revenue, better traction. Magic Bricks is the biggest real estate online portal that caters to both the sellers and the buyers. And when we analyze the simple data taken from the Magic Bricks portal, this is what the results reveal. Approximately 13.74% of the property listings cater to the segment costing rupees 45 lakhs and below. And around 44% of the listings cater to properties valued between rupees 50 lakhs and 1 CR. So it's very clear that the stamp duty cut is benefiting a very small section of home buyers. So what do you think? Are you satisfied with the state government's move or are of the opinion that much more needs to be done? Do share your views in the comment section below. Subscribe to MBTV and follow me on Twitter for more such information pertaining to Bengaluru real estate. This is Priyanka Rachaya signing off with camera person Pragat. Please subscribe to Magic Pricks on YouTube and press the bell icon to get new videos.